So let's start with your character, who you play, and tell us a little bit about her. I play a woman named Julia Banks um, who has a really dark past. She had an alcoholic father and um, an abusive relationship with her ex-boyfriend. Um, she even sought psychological help um, afterwards. And she's her best friend is her boss. She doesn't have a lot of friends or people in her life, you know, which happens oftentimes with women with that kind of background. Um, but she is in a new chapter, and she's fallen in love with this wonderful man who is um, a father of an eight-year-old girl, and they're gonna get married, and she's gonna co-parent with him, and everything's looking really rosy and amazing, and then the ex-wife shows up, and um, it's very clear that things aren't gonna go as smoothly as uh, she would have hoped beforehand. Great. Now, <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. bit of a nice thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what attracted you to this role? I was really, you know, at first, you know, I had, I had actually uh, turned down the role. I was, I was, I think I was nervous about it. You know, it was so intense and like the darkness of it and stuff. And, and I'm on the board of V-Day, um, Eve Ensler's organization to fight, you know, stop violence against women and children. And I'm on the board of Lower Girls Club. And I've done so many campaigns with anti-violence organizations and stuff. And, I play a lot of these types of characters, and I was just like, I don't know that I want to go there again. Um, and I remember Denise just like, we just, it was really clear that what we were doing, we were doing something really special, and it wasn't just like a lot of the other kind of thriller films. It wasn't, we weren't using these different things to be exploited. We really wanted to investigate these moments, and then I got super excited about that, because the range of these women, it wasn't just about she's the bad guy and you know that's the good guy kind of thing it was really kind of the spectrum of us and how we all can go a little bit crazy you know and how my character I got help it wasn't that I wasn't that I didn't have mental issues or traumas in my past but I actually sought help for it that's what we all kind of deserve and need you know and because we don't communicate it and we don't create it we end up having these insane dramatic moments but in reality you know these women could actually have so much more in common and I, I really love that I love that it wasn't just just hitting the tropes of a thriller, but really kind of showing compassion for all these characters and showing the humanity of it and the difficulties of co-parenting and all that kind of stuff. And so I just got super excited about all of that. And I think it really works. When I watch this movie, I'm just, I'm really, I'm moved. I'm really moved by everybody. And I love everyone's journey and I can relate to everyone, which is pretty remarkable. And speaking of relating, um, this, how relatable do you think the story is just to modern day relationships and divorces? Because it's, I think people are really going to connect with this. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, you know, it's interesting when we were talking about it with Allison, one of the producers, and, you know, she was saying when they first were coming up with the story, they really didn't want to do the like, oh, that the first wife was, you know, just neglected or underappreciated and it's the new wife that's coming in and it's about that she's like young and this and kind of, it was like, we've seen that before. Um, but like show a different kind of dynamic of, you know, a, a woman who is unhinged and the people around who are not communicating directly or properly with her and, you know, just what the loss that's there because here's this little girl in the center of it and if we're not all communicating with each other then we're not taking it serious. And I, and I just, I, I don't know, I just really, I love the whole approach of this movie. Do you feel that people are going to look at this and, and kind of say to themselves, what would I do if I was in that? situation if people recognize that and see it and kind of go oh like I've been there and I, 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 I knee-jerked reaction I did that but if I had done this maybe this could have happened you know and like if that's what your real ultimate if you want your child you want to end that cyclical cycle of violence whether it's physical emotional spiritual you know you know verbal you know, those traumas we have to finally look at, you know, not dismiss, not deny, not ignore, but really look at, you know, that man in the mirror kind of thing, like really look at it and then you can move on. And I, I was just really, when you see Julia's journey, the only reason why she's able to thrive in the way that she can is because she's actually looked at what's not worked in her life. She went and sought psychological help and she learned, she got tools to use. And you know, if we don't use those tools, properly, not as crutches or as weapons, 
then they're useless. You know, it's like really use them. So I really hope that people get like it's a fun. It's it's an incredible ride. It's super entertaining. But there's there's some real heart in this film, and I really hope that it sparks conversations between people because I hear people are yelling at the screen when they're watching it. But I really hope that that translates afterwards for them talking to each other about it because I think we could it could be really enlightening.